Hi, I'm Anna Cristalli. I'm a research software engineer at the University of Sheffield, and today I'm going to be talking to you about checklists. So, um, a lot of the ideas come from this book, The Checklist Manifesto, that I recently listened to uh, by Atul Gawande. Um, and he made a really good case for why checklists have been really successful in a lot of the high pressure um, fields they've been used. Um, so, some of the potentials come from um, these characteristics, so we, they can codify, they can use to codify best practice by distilling and collating community information. Uh, they can help by leveling the team by providing a sort of higher authority that any team member can uh, point to. Uh, they can create awareness by bringing focus to routine tasks, but also help prepare for the unexpected. And they can bring teams together because the act of uh, reviewing itself fosters um, a feelings of teamwork and uh, shared ownership. Um, but they're not just automatically lead to success. A good checklist first and foremost needs to add value. They need to be, they need to be modular, uh, customizable, and then guide and encourage communication. Um, so this is actually a pitch for a hack day idea. And the idea is to um, use GitHub issue templates as checklists for open reproducible research. So, the idea is to build a library of customizable uh, templates for common tasks and also provide uh, infrastructure for domain specific variations. It would be really nice if we could programmatically create domains or task specific uh, GitHub issue ta um, sets. And most importantly, they should be open for contribution because uh, community ownership and a sense of value to community itself is really imperative if they're uh, going to be used and implemented. Um, yeah, so that's it. <laughs>